Hello, buddy. I seem to have set it up correctly. I made a little bit of progress uh, by accident. Uh, when I full screen like this, um, or like have it mostly in my monitor, it sometimes doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, and uh, it basically zoomed in on the uh, window, and that's not what I wanted to happen, and that happened, and it kind of ruined everything. So, yeah. I'm gonna go through this dialogue again, but I did jump, I, I got jumped by what happens after this. Uh, but uh, are, are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? This is just question mark, exclamation point. What, what are you? Okay, whoa. <laughs> Hello, mister. I have a neck that can, uh, turn, uh, 180 degrees. So stay back. Don't come near me. What happens if I die here? Game over. I just... I got an achievement for that. Game over. Achievement one. Aw, oh, I have to go through this again. Let me go through this again. He's actually very slow here, which is odd, but we're going to go with uh, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, there's nothing in the background there, it just says like, uh, yeah, useless stuff. Press confirm to shake off. <sighs> what was that? His neck was all crooked. Can't have been human, couldn't have been human, is what you should say. Am I just gonna going nuts? A thing? It couldn't have been real. Why do I hear something that. Okay, that's actually kind of creeping me out. There's something outside of my headphones that shouldn't be outside of my headphones. I, I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired, is all. <clears throat> I feel sick. And I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? All right, so the four, the, the the four little or the four number combination. Uh, I remember <clears throat> from the uh, the thing that we were doing. I don't know uh, the thing I was talking about last time with the guys. Oh, it's not this room. That's why <laughs> I got caught real off guard and I jumped so high. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it again. Got me again. What was that, sissy? Well, which room is it? This one? Oh, we're running fast now. Well, that looks fun. Switch point, switch point. Oh, hello. Sissy, what, what happened? You're gonna have to jump. I, I went to the window in the floor cave way. What, sh what should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's too dangerous over there. Uh, no, no, I can't. I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. I got this big. <laughs> there is no. This is no time for pessimism. Pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Hurry! I can't. I'll catch you. And I... Why is that so loud? That, that was close. It's too close. Are you okay, Sissy? Are you hurt? Uh, my voice. Sissy. Oh, hey, look, art. So scared. I was so scared. Why do I go? No, no more. I don't like the dark. Why? Why do I? I. It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared. But it's fine now. Don't cry. Ah! I, I, I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. That's right. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It was it in the room we stayed in? I wonder where it could be. It must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always just give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I, I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What exactly is it? Sorry, just sorry to ask, but I've just been wondering. Was it a present or... It's a present for my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Okay. Ah, I see. Sorry if I was rude. 
keep looking for it too. You're looking for someone, aren't you? I haven't met anyone, but uh, can you tell me more about them? Er, well, I don't know that much either. Just that he's a man about my age. Huh? That's a little. That's a little about the person you're looking for. You know that a little about the person you're looking for? There we go. I nailed it that time. <laughs> it's just you're a strange man, David. I I am not. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought that was like in rejection. I I'm not. There's just some things I want to ask. I don't know how how he looks because um somewhat strange, but very kind. I would have hurt. I would. I would. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. Like grateful for, to. Yeah. I. I keep. I. I just lost the voice. That's simply. I just could put it off. It's there. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see you. Okay. This should be fun. I'm gonna save. I almost want to save in data one. There's an achievement for not answering the cell phone later on, or earlier in the game, and just straight heading to bed, which I would have never thought there'd be an achievement for. So what do I have access to me now? Now I know the book should be here on this side if I remember correctly, but I'm not sure though. So what am I looking for? Notebook scraps, brass key that I can't seem to figure out what's used for. What I do want to get into is this room, and I know exactly how to do it. It's to find the passcode from the broken door. Staff only, it's locked by a passcode. But maybe if we can find a hint to what that passcode might be, we might be able to unlock it. That's our registry, it's locked. With a key, no keys would automatically be used. <clears throat> a notebook. It's fixed. Four chapters of a book have been mysteriously gone missing. Should you find these pages, please report to your owner. Owner's room. The basement door. I I read that. I heard the basement. And I was like. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'm getting. I'm getting the. Heebie-jeebies from just being here. Hello? Why am I going back down? Well, there is something down here. Something here. A bronze key. Got an I got another bronze key? Oh, brass and bronze key. So they're both to something different completely entirely. Miscellaneous goods. Well, at least I got a key for going down here. I'm gonna do another safe check right quick. What's the name of the book again? Book of the Month, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll, Jekyll and Mrs. Hyde. Phone. Thanks for telling me. Bronze key would go to where? Where would the bronze key go? I jumped, I jumped at that for some reason. I don't know why. No. Now I gotta literally go through all of these because I don't remember where. Uh, keyhole's painted over it. Oh, I use the bronze key here. I'm a spastic saver. I'm sorry. It's just how I am. What about these drinks here? The glass. Oh man, I like glass. Glass is great, I guess. Empty beer bottle. Well, I guess we're not the only ones here. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling about like sloppy writing. A toast to our owner, who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. 
That's the only good thing here. Being out of a job is no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door, having a number lock on the food storage, all his silly crap made the, pe the place impossible to run. Plus the passcode was this thing with a book, which he changed up every month. What do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure. Not us. Ah, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage at a far end of the first floor. Right, the passcode on the food crates. I get that I'm not in the game. That doesn't. Why? Did, what happened when I press C? It was like da -da -da, Windows. You have an error. Oh, my mouse is probably in the way somewhere. I gotta put this somewhere important, I guess. I don't know. Pretty absurd. But we now know that it's by a book. Why did we stop for a second? Why did I not save is another question. If I die, I'll lose all of my progress and I have to read that over again. I'm not interested. So can we go down here? Uh, four pages of the book and then go find the book and then will it activate me being a it's closed now um, that scares me a little bit probably because I went back down in there but still I don't like that oh there we go the blackboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde be on the shelf here, right? Here we go. Chapter 1, the story of the door. I'm not interested in reading all this yet. I'll, I'll sit here and let you pause. Chapter 1, 2, search for Mr. Hyde. Four, okay, 3 is missing. 1, 2, three, four, one, two 4. 3 is missing. Five still here. Five, three, six, seven, nine? Three, six, seven, nine? That's gotta be the code. Right? Where's that from? No, no way. That, that monster did it really I seriously <laughs> I saved a split second before this happened no, no way that monster did it really now how do I I can't juke you can I it's coming this way crap I gotta escape oh it's lunging speed oh, 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 oh please no not again please no Oh, 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 it screamed and just straight sprinted. I saved a split second. You can stop now. Can I escape through the thing? Maybe if I do a jump, they said? Oh, maybe if I push him in. Yeah, that makes sense. What is that monster? So, what I saw earlier really was? I can't believe such a thing exists, but there's no way it's coming back now. The room under is locked tight. Well, it's locked tight where we were. Well, you're a very smart person. I should warn Susan when I see her. I knew it'd be dangerous for her. Well, the area that's locked down tight, uh, it might be the same area that we're trying to head to right now. Don't you think, David? Maybe that's what we were supposed to do. And I was like, nah, run it. Why would running ever help me in a situation like that? Three, six, seven, nine. Right?
Oh, it did it automatically. Wooden box, but there's something on top of there. Something shining, but I can't reach it. A ladder. Can I take that ladder? I could use that ladder to get something on top of there. Got a key to 209. Where's 209 actually? Small fruit knife. Might want to. Might want to keep that in your back pocket. You never know when that might come in use. This is the food storage. It smells rotten because it probably is rotten. Hinges too rusted to open. Well, use the knife and maybe bash it then. Not like that would make any noise, right? Two oh nine is up here, isn't it? Cafeteria. Two to two. Oh, okay, this is real far then. This is two oh eight. Unlock the door. Well, this looks like a fun place to be in. The music stops. It's like a bathroom. Thanks for telling me. Looks like something was badly burnt. Is this a photo? There's something under the piece. A notebook scrap. I don't need her memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything, good and bad, and all the memories inside of me too. Ah, my head hurts. What just happened? <laughs> it's easy. Seizing up. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. So he burned this photo and mend his broken heart, huh? I know I couldn't do that. I, I'll never forget. Never according to Paul. It makes me a pansy. Sissy? Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't get. And there's lots of rooms I can't get into, so it might be in one of those. What's 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 wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing. But Sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger too, so I think you would. You should go. Hmm, my English. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there is no need to tease me like that. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman. Okay, it isn't the boogeyman. It's the guy with the snap neck. <laughs> or sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> Just don't worry. I'm not mad. You don't seem to be a dishonest guy. Uh, you, well, I said that correctly either way. So I'd like to believe you, but a monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be... To be to seeing things when you are, if you wander around in the dark like this. I'd like to think you're right, alright, if you insist. Oh, well, pause, but no pause. But be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Beep, 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 scream. Oh, I get to save now. I'm getting released em 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 empty. Bed that nobody likes. I'm, I'm waiting on it. What? Oh, that does not sound fun. That does not sound fun. That does not sound fun. That does not sound fun at all, but I'm going to investigate. What's this over here? It's made in ketchup. Red writing. What is this here before? Leave me alone. Please leave. Leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for you. Well, it's made in ketchup, so you got to I mean, you got you got the utensils. It sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have wrote, written this? Is this a madman? Oh, it's a tr it's a terp. But why? I dropped you down in the pit. Crap! I gotta do something. 
Oh, it launches. It launches. It launches. It launches. I'll be caught if I if I go in there. Oh! He's so fast. I'm gonna save it closer towards the door this time. I'm actually gonna save it like right on top. And then, so next time I. Oh, well, never mind. Don't listen to me. Maybe, maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just get stuck in a chase right now. Like, what do I do? Do I take a bottle or something to it? I mean, I got plenty of bottles lying around, so I ain't afraid to start chucking them. So, this monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? Ah, guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Run? That's not good enough. I actually almost made it. Now I just feel flat retarded. I have a lighter. He has alcohol all over him. I have a lighter. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I feel stupid. I just feel stupid now. Me trying to figure out what I'm doing, and I can't even... I can't put two and two together, I'm sorry. A bottle of alcohol, then the lighter. That's like the one thing I forget, because it's in my inventory. Lighter. Oh, yeah, now he's covered in alcohol. He should be pretty plenty of example. Yeah, thanks. Oh, man, I feel stupid. <laughs> Absorb! And now I go get the knife. That's like the last thing I saw. Ran away. What is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? Yeah, there was around. Uh, save, so you aren't an idiot like me. I'm not doing that fight scene over again. Hmm. I love the opening door sound effect. There's the knife down here, which is what the last thing I saw was. And so I'm going to go for it. Serious things like this happen. Maybe I can use this. Oh yes, the blood. This is just lovely. The blood? This wasn't here earlier. No, it wasn't. Something happened to Sissy? Well, I can't let that happen. No, can I? I'm stepping in it, too. Oh, the blood leads up or below? The answer is below. Doors unlocked. That's unnormal. Well, the blood leads to you, so I assume. Oof. Sissy, what are you doing here? Whew. My arm is bleeding. So it was your blood. Oh, your arm is bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. You've been resting here, right? What if you get an, uh, amnesia? I don't know. I'm just a little tired. I've been uh, walking around a lot, really. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Give me your hands, Izzy. I have a handkerchief. Handkerchief. So I can uh, at least wrap it up. Makes sense. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. <clears throat> I'm a little off now ever since that was me being retarded and not remembering the lighter. <laughs> you don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly. 
It's silly that I'm wandering this dark, wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arms, all to find some mis miscellaneous box. Mis I'm gonna call it miscellaneous because I don't know what else. <laughs> but it's important, right? It's a memento from your boyfriend. <sighs> Oof. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? Yeah, that makes total sense. You left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That's when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I've always worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all of these memories. Why did you bring break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said he was all, uh, it was all I had. He was exactly right. I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he broke up. He break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know it's just annoying you. I'll rest here for a while. I'm a little busy. Thank you for your help, David. Oh, and here. I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Got a key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself. Well, I'm going. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, well. Why are you always like this, David? Like what? You're always such a yes man, just going with the flow. Do you even have any personality? I don't mean to, I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. What? You're not kind, you're just indecisive. I thought, I think I said that right. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. That totally makes sense, definitely. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm in pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. <laughs> then, then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that all? Maybe it's hopeless for us. <laughs> I hate for it to end like this, but I think we'd both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. But wait. Talk about this, surely. That is surely. I got a call from her earlier. And then again, kindness is all you have. So she and I were the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Well, I better say because I'm not going through that dialogue dialogue again. Let me sure of that. Oh, I know exactly where this is gonna go. Oh, I know exactly where this is gonna go. Right here. Yeah. You see the unknown key, that makes whoa. Something in the fountain. It's the box! Maybe it's the one Sissy lost. Mine now! <laughs> It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away here? Or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this sissy plot dude. That's sissy's box, but I better look around first. Let me... Just in case if I open this door back up. And, uh... I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna be careful with this, because... You never know what might happen. Huh, did Sissy leave already? She's wounded. Nope, she didn't leave. She's being attacked right now. But where, though? But where? Oh, there. Sissy. Of course I forget to save, yeah. I'm a dur. Ugh. Uh. No, no, stay away. 
Shank. Stop right there. Back off, monster. Save it. Yeet. <laughs> That's all I'm getting out of this. He says he got out of my hotel. D David, what are you? I said run away. I'll take care of this. Shank. Hey, monster. I don't know what... <laughs> oh, I get to save here. Yes, this is exactly what I wanted. Because then... Yeah, just end me. There's there's a there's a way to get around it without getting any damage, apparently. And that's what I want to do, because I get an achievement for it. Oof. Oh, I'm getting hit. I I got blocked by the seat. Your boy is gonna do a let's play right here. He's gonna launch, isn't he? Let's just to get the timing right. I messed up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Best less player in the world, boys. On hit. Oh, I did it! <laughs> I did it! I didn't expect to do it like that. <laughs> what, what happened was is that he had to turn the corner. So what I would either do is I'd wait for him to get slightly close to me so I can at least do something. Or just sit there at the corner and wait and have him come around the corner. And since I was right next to the corner, he couldn't... He had to turn in order to hit me. And I would just get away. David. Ah, oh, yes, I did it. No hits. <laughs> took me two tries, but I got it. I got it. The only reason it took me it took me just a little, a little bit of time. Normally, it would take me literally forever to find a strategy that would work. It's because, oh, yeah, I could do this, this, and that. And then I got cut up. The first attempt, first one was I had no idea what was, how, or what I was doing and how it was going to work. The second one was maybe I could figure out where the hitbox is and maybe do something about it. But then got stuck on the sofa and basically ruined whatever I had trying to go for me. The third one, I just immediately perfected it and, you know, immediately did it. That's funny. David. <laughs> Super realistic breathing. <laughs> David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think it's I think it'll chase me anymore. But never mind me. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. But to see what's wrong. Are you not feeling well? What, why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I... I just... Don't want to forget him. I just wanted to have my memory of him, at least. Is it... Because I'm such a wimp? Is that why this is happening? Can I... Can I not even love him? No, I hate it. Someone... Somebody help me. Sissy. Oh, yes, the hug. Please don't cry. What's wrong with being a, what's wrong with being a wimp? Or please don't cry. Oh, I think I'm gonna go with what's wrong with being a wimp because it either it relates back to us because we were told practically the same thing and then and then we were told pretty much the same thing. I need to keep whatever save I put that in. I don't know why I didn't put in save one. I think it's save three or four. I'm not even going to mess with that row anymore. Uh, we're going to go with... Uh... I want to go with Please Don't Cry, even though this might get me like the worst ending because that's what the game wants me to choose. But we're going to go with Please Don't Cry. Crying won't do you any good. I know all too well how you feel, but it may be tough, but you have to move on. You know that, don't you? You can't keep going on like this. I'm sure someone will understand you someday, so please don't cry. 
He won't even let me cry. There's really nothing I can do. This is your treasure. I found it in the courtyard earlier. You decided to forget everything, right? I'm sorry I was so selfish. I know better than anyone that I can't keep going like this. I can't keep stowing every over it. I I need to forget him. Oh, that was bad. It's a precious it's a precious memory, but I don't need it anymore, do I? Dot dot dot. dot. I'll be going now. Sorry, I couldn't help you, David. I hope you find who you were looking for. Yeah, thanks, Sissy. Be well. <gasps> oh no! Oh! Oh! <laughs> I knew it! Oh! 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 Sissy, hey, it won't open up! Open up! Stop it! Stop it right now! Don't you lay a hand on her! Open this door! Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I swear to god that other choice wouldn't have done that! Oh my god! I've got like tears in my eyes because I was caught so off guard! It was such like a happy moment of realization that we were a new! And now that's it! Oh my god! <laughs> no way, dude! Oh! Oh, is that game over? Bad end one. What a sissy. No way, dude. No way. That's a bad end. I knew I should have went with what's going. What's oh god. At least we're getting an ending. I had a good feeling that that was gonna get me something awful because I knew something bad was gonna happen. I knew the game would want me to pick the other one. How did I know? How did I call it from the get-go? Alright, so, boys, it shouldn't be too difficult. I was gonna, I, what I was gonna do is that if it got, if something different was gonna happen, I was gonna load it up and say a data 6, and then I'll do the other choice and do data 1. But I guess there is no other choice. I think it's just, oh, you're dead. Oh, that's not how that's gonna work, okay? I'm gonna try and do this flawless again because, um, I just feel like it. Ooh, two hits. I'll see if I can perfect this a little bit. He lunges, but like right now. Two hits. Around turning, when he's turning the corner, two hits. Three hits! He lunged. That was easy. Oh, that caught me so off guard. I was like, okay, it's it's a little bit of a new story. Something I probably wouldn't have wanted to happen. You know, I was like, yeah, I don't want you to forget about him, but you're going to forget about him anyway, so you're starting to new, and we're going to go on to the next thing, and I'm probably going to get a worse ending because you're going to be not tagged along, you're not going to be thanking me, well, you're going to be thanking me, but you're going to be gone, uh, forgetting about him, knowing that I helped you forget about him, and I'm going to go worse than me because you're not going to be a part of my party, or whatever it is, it's going to happen, and when the doors opened and he drug her in, I was like, ooh, ooh. oh, that caught me so off guard, I was, I was ready for, as soon as that happened, I was like, oh, okay. Never mind. There goes all the happy fun stuff that's gonna happen. <laughs>
It caught me so off guard. I was not prepared. Next chapter, please. Well, turns out that's not gonna happen. What's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong with being a wimp? What's wrong? Huh? <laughs> that caught her off guard. You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget about it, but is that such a bad thing? <clears throat> David. You know I was dumped a few months ago, too. I'm not sure we're going to get married. You too? I was dejected. Even now, it was still pains me. How did I call this from the beginning? I was like, yeah, it's gonna loop back to us, isn't it? Because we made a realization that that was gonna happen. And I called it, and now we're going to reminisce over the fact that I called it, and the fact that he's gonna just tell out his whole life story to her now. It's wonderful. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. I can't even be happy when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself for more and more. But looking at you, I can think. I can't. I've come to. Th I've come to think. I don't think that either that was in my headphones and something bad's gonna happen again or some just I could hear something I'm not your kind of that maybe it's not bad to keep thinking of someone in fact maybe it's wonder a wonderful thing I decided I wouldn't give up either let's thank to you sissy thank you this I knew this would be the better option for the gecko but I was like Nah, that's too that's too that's too rough on the edges right now. Let's keep it chill. Let's let's uh let's keep it calm. I mean I got an achievement for it, so I'm not and I and I got caught off guard, which is the best thing to to happen when you're like seriously not ready for what ha what's about to happen. And that's like probably one of the best things to these like RPG horror games. Is that you don't know what's gonna happen next. And when something like that happens, like I need to forget about him, I need to go on Thank you, David. Doors open, gets yanked in, murdered. And we're stuck there in shock. Wow. David. This is your, your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be ashamed to throw it away. Yeah, you say that now, alluding back to the other choice. Thanks, David. Or, thanks, David. Take good care of it, okay? I'm sure the one you loved will understand... And I know you will always support you. Or, uh oh. What? I know I'll always support you. <clears throat> Thank you, David. I'll, I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Hey, David? The box come with a key. A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open it, though I didn't lock it. A key. Wait, hold on. Maybe this brass key. Hmm. Nah. Of course not. Ah, yes, that's the one. Where'd you find it at? Really? Or, I picked it up around here. That's a lie. The key from my house opened Sissy's box. So the former tenant's involved with the box. What does that mean? <clears throat> that means that since, uh... Yeah, I was. it was kind of there from the get-go that, uh... <clears throat> That guy that was tracked down there, the crooked man, if you want to call it, call it that, was linked to Sissy in some way, shape, or form. May have been the boyfriend in some way. Uh, and choosing to forget kind of made him mad, break down the doors, lock them, and then kill Sissy for it, I guess. Why? I don't know. For forgetting? Or something? I don't know. I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh, it's a piece of paper. That's Sissy. Can I look at that? I thought so. It matches the other notebook pages, which means he... I don't get it. But I guess the guy you're looking for put these pages in here? Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, I wasn't here. He wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, Sissy. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks, though, David. Well.
Oh. I'm really thankful, David. Let's see each other again sometime. That, that surprised me. <laughs> that didn't, so. <clears throat> She's ha she seems happier now. That's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. Lingering scent of dreams. Is this the address where he is now? I'll go check it out. We've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. Scene one. Hotel. Rahim. Sissy. End. Like how there wasn't even like a second choice to lead to an ending. It was just bad end one or you know what? We're just gonna end you here. Or we're gonna we're gonna continue the story here. That oh man. That that's sad. I don't know how much I'm gonna bring it up, like starting anew, like yes, I'm gonna I'm gonna start myself up, but then being killed immediately after is uh Ooh, that stinks. <laughs> that stings. I mean, I got an unexpected achievement, which I didn't think would happen. It's called a uh, sissy, I do believe. Oh no, what a sissy! Get bad in one. There's tw there's twelve hidden endings, I think, which is amazing to know, because there's either plenty of secrets or plenty of endings for me to get. And ooh boy, that sounds fun. So um, oh, press enter and it'll change. Mmm, I gotta save data three for the for that fight because I can. Or, you know, an ending guide if I so do wish. Scene 1 complete. Achievement unlocked. Alright. Once we open... Once we get through the opening scene and I save, I'm gonna leave it off here. Man, this place was far. It took almost an entire day. This... This is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. No one around, though. I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. I'm pretty sure most of that's glass, so uh, I don't see a problem with entering. I'll be honest. Julia Stone Law School. Set for de demolition. No entry. Hey, this is the school from the leaflet. Then maybe he's here after all. Well, it was set for demolition. Well, we can enter. Okay. How's your day been? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Crooked Man. I'm gonna go edit that one part where I couldn't figure out what to do because I was an idiot and didn't know how to use a lighter. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm leave it off here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever I make. Bye-bye.